What's up guys, this is the Arrow Season 5 Episode 9 review, the mid-season finale for Arrow, and that was a pretty darn good mid-season finale in my opinion. I really, really enjoyed it. So we're going to talk about the details and what happened in the episode, so if you haven't watched it yet, seriously, go watch this episode, it's a really great episode. So let's get into it. The first scene opens with basically the Christmas party. We get to see Oliver interacting with that one reporter lady, which I really can't remember her name for some reason, but I really don't like their interaction. Um, I feel like Oliver's leaning on her way too much, and we saw that one scene where he sees a picture of Oliver in Russia, and that's definitely going to come up again, so I just don't trust her at all. After that Christmas party scene, Curtis leaves, and well, before that, there were like some awkward introductions. And then um, Curtis leaves, and then Curtis versus Prometheus, which was a very short fight, and you know, nobody would expect Curtis to die or anything, so the outcome was pretty much a given. He just gets hurt badly. I thought it was cool that Curtis, you know, just leapt in there and tried to fight him head on though, which, I mean, kind of dumb, but cool at the same time. We move on to a scene with Evelyn bringing gifts for everyone, and that was like right after we see a scene with her and Prometheus talking. And it definitely seems like throughout the episode, it's obvious that Evelyn and Prometheus didn't know each other from the start. It was just Evelyn defecting after learning about Oliver's uh, secret past, I guess. To me, that was kind of a... I don't know, everyone else didn't seem to mind so much. And they understand that people have their past and people make their mistakes and they move forward from it. So I don't know why Evelyn you know, decided to choose to do this, but it was definitely something different and I really hope that somehow they bring her back. I don't know, I just don't feel like she's gonna stay bad because she doesn't seem like a bad character. Although the episode where they revealed her to be in cahoots with Prometheus, I was very surprised. So. We'll see what hap what happens with her. Like, she kind of disappeared after the first battle, which is what we're going to get into right now. So, finding Prometheus, after they found him, Oliver went in alone because he, he just seems to like that. And Wild Dog just keeps, like, disobeying orders. And I I think this that was pretty funny in this episode. He's just like, oh, he, he knows I don't listen to him anyways. And he's been making a lot of comments about how, like, um, oh, this will piss off Oliver, so I'm going to do it or something like that. After they found Prometheus, the first battle was fun to watch. It was like a lot of slow motion. The arrow with the throwing star though, that first shot of the slow motion of him shooting the arrow and then the throwing star just like cutting it in half. That was pretty sweet. We hear that supposedly he got training for years in Russia or something like that. Probably gonna be connected back to the past, uh, the, the flashbacks that we see. Oliver said he's trained by some, some person that trained him. That's probably how he's so good, but at the same time, like in my previous reviews, I've talked about it before, Oliver beat Ra's al Ghul, and now also Damien Dark, so I don't see why he should have that much of a problem with this guy, but you know, just is what it is, I suppose. Uh, after Prometheus escapes with Evelyn, the next scene is a whole bunch of drama between like Curtis and his husband as well as Felicity and Billy. So I understood Billy and Felicity's drama. Of course, Billy's a cop and he wants to do his job. And there's like this under underlying theme of wanting to do what you feel is what you do, basically being yourself, right? I forgot their exact words, but they're basically just saying like, I'm not gonna like try to pretend to be someone else, this is who I am and I'm gonna do what I want to do. I understand Billy's side of that and it makes perfect sense, but the whole like Curtis and his husband, I didn't really like hus his husband's like ultimatum or what he's saying either. It's, you could argue, I mean it makes sense, right? But if this is what Curtis wants, if he truly does care about Curtis and this is what Curtis is then he should support that and you know if if this is who he loves and everything like that but that's just my opinion tell me what you guys think so moving on from there we got the team basically finding out that Prometheus is supposed supposedly that one guy's son I can't remember his name but it's the guy that Oliver killed in this episode with the flashbacks and everything I didn't really care much for that guy. I mean, you know, he caused infection and stuff like that. It makes sense that Oliver killed him. Seems like sound justice to me. Obviously, family and this guy is his son, so he's gonna want revenge. So to me, it seems a little too simple. Just this whole revenge thing. It seems a little too simple. And the fact that 
We don't know his identity for sure, he's just supposedly that guy's son. Also raises a question, and I really don't think that this is all we're getting. Like, I feel like there's more to it, like definitely some more to it. Otherwise, it's a little simple and I guess that's fine, but you know, for me, I feel like there's more to it. So Speedy suits up for the sake of just suiting up and talking to Oliver while she's in the suit, which was cool. Uh, every time she suits up, I actually, I like her costume because, you know, it's like Roy's costume and I like Roy, so. From there, Oliver walks through this building and sees a whole bunch of flashbacks of himself killing all these guys. And this was the good old Arrow back in the day where he didn't care about anything and just killed everybody. Honestly though, like I felt like he could have used some restraint against the guys that just were working for the main guy he was trying to kill. But I guess, you know, that's how he was back then. And that's sort of the Arrow that I like personally. Moving on from there, we see that Oliver meets Prometheus at the spot where Errol killed his dad. This is where it starts getting very, very intense. Like once Prometheus jumps off the building and Errol follows him, they crash into the next floor or the bottom floor. And this is the part where my mind was trying to make sense of it because I did not expect this at all. When Oliver shot the arrow and there was three arrows going inside some person, obviously we all knew it wasn't Prometheus. There's no way he was going down that easy. This is like where my mind was thinking, this is probably just some random guy that Prometheus had captured and then Oliver's just gonna see this random guy killed and he's gonna be really upset. And then it was Billy. <laughs> and that was, to me, was shocking that the scene at the headquarters when Oliver went back and his face, I was just so surprised that it was Billy. Just seeing the team looking at Oliver being so upset and so sad. I've never seen this before. In Arrow, like, I've never seen him look like that, feeling so guilty. Even after Laurel died, like, he was really, really upset and depressed, but he was, he didn't feel extreme guilt like that, or I, at least I didn't see it in his face. Like, this time, it just really looked like he was really, really guilty, and I don't know, this, it was just a great twist, in my opinion. I don't know, I don't know if anybody saw that coming, to be honest. I just, it was really shocking. After we see Oliver sort of break down a little bit and go to that reporter lady for comfort, we end the scene with Oliver going back to base and seeing Laurel. And that was surprising. I didn't think that Laurel was going to show up in this episode. Not sure where she came from. I I'm guessing that Flashpoint has something to do with it, but we're going to see that next episode. I definitely am looking forward to that. Overall, this mid-season finale was a great episode. Like, I hate making comparisons between the two shows, Arrow and Flash. When you have them running side by side, sometimes you can't avoid it. But my honest opinion, this mid-season finale was much better than Flash's hands down. Of course, this is what I think. Feel free to disagree in the comment section below. I definitely welcome it. Or agree if you agree. Just overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was tense. I thought the scene where Billy got killed was shocking. It was really unexpected and bold. It seriously surprised the crap out of me. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this review. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below on what you thought. Subscribe if you want more. I'm going to do the rest of this season as well as the rest of the season for Flash. Thanks for watching.